All right, this is the latest project. Uh, let's see, how could you not have water at your barn? So, latest project, get water to the barn. Got to bury that in the hole. And, uh, and let's see, ooh, got a, got a long trench there. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Got some chickens out here. And it helps to have water at the barn so you can water the chickens. Go. Okay, so you got to follow the trench all the way to the other side. we got a couple of chickens here. Chickens are going to run away. Oh, the trench goes all the way to the front of the house, of course. Mm, no, we didn't do the whole thing with a trench shovel. And I know it's not very deep, but this is Arkansas. And, uh... I can put a um, valve in to drain the water. Unfortunately, oh my goodness, I dug down here at the, uh, at the, um, what, do you, what do you call this thing? The water meter. And I found this galvanized pipe. I thought I was going to be able to tie into that copper, but uh, the proprietary size. I guess the water company doesn't like when you mess with their meter. So there's the galvanized pipe, and I thought, oh man, I'm not cutting into a galvanized pipe. But sometimes you just have to dig back a little bit further. Oh, thank goodness, and see what you got there. I was uh, really happy to have that bucket and that loader on the tractor in order to dig that far down. That thing's uh, it's in there. So I'm going to cut into it, obviously, and uh, and I'm going to put a water pressure regulator and a backflow preventer and a couple of angles and stuff. Unfortunately, I sent uh, I asked my lovely wife to go to the store for me, and she did, and I gave her a beautiful illustration of what I wanted, and the people at the store gave her the correct fittings uh, for this one. And they decided to give her different fittings that that wouldn't that wouldn't fit in the regulator. So I got all I need is two more fittings before I complete this. But uh, oh, and by the way, since I don't have to get that galvanized pipe, uh, I'm going to return these $45 piece wrenches. Thank you very much. Anyway, that's uh, that's the project for this weekend. That didn't get finished. Oh, that's right. Yeah, this is how I dug the trench. Unfortunately, it's really just a potato plow or a middle buster, and it's not meant to, uh, it's not meant to get down 18 inches, but it does loosen the soil down to 14 or 15 inches, so that will work to, to get us down deep enough. Again, if we've got the trench, if we've got the, uh, if I don't get the trench deep enough, which I don't think I have enough energy to get the trench deep enough, then all we're going to do is um, put a put a drain line in so I can turn it off in the winter and drain the water out, and, and that'll work. All right. Well, thanks for watching. This has been fun.